this film thing has always been a part of me my entire life and I always try to run away from it and come right back. I don't know, it, it, it never left me, but February the 5th, 2019, I started Sacrifice for Self. And I'm telling you, man, it's the best I could ever do, you understand? Y'all stay tuned, we got a long way to go. questions is always asked is what does sacrifice for self mean because it don't you know what I'm saying it don't the, the common thing to say is sacrifice for yourself that's the most common thing that come when you hit it but when I cut it off like sacrifice for self it's like you know what does that mean it's uh it's, it's kind of it's kind of somehow the black uh the uh the black mafia in Philadelphia I used to do they used to say some shit like do for self. So it's the same type of little small thing. Sacrifice for self. Sacrifice for self, all it means is put yourself first. And the reason why I came up with that because I think I was going through some, some shit in my life, man. That's like, I've always showed more love that, was, that wasn't giving back the same way. You know what I'm saying? And I've always bent my back for other people. I've always, going over the top for people I know wouldn't have done it for me. You know? So I was always been like that and then, you know, something came over me like, look, man, you, 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 you got to put yourself first, man. You know what I'm saying? When, when you hungry, you hungry. You understand? And when you fall, you feel that pain. That's what's going on your body. It's, it's you, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, everybody can't help you with everything you go through. Like, it's some things that, you know, you just by yourself with. You know what I mean? It's just like, you can never... Get on that level if you don't put yourself first, man. It's, it's no way possible. Like, people be like, you know, it's all about my kids and my wife, and you know, which is good. Like, that's per I ain't dissing that, but your wife and your kids gonna depend on you. And if you ain't got your shit together, or if you don't put yourself first, if you don't know what you're gonna do, it means nothing. You, you're gonna crash, bro. It, it's, it's not gonna work. So, that's why I say, man, put yourself first, man. So, that's why I stick by it so hard. It means so much to me because it's like, yeah, sacrifice for self, bro. You know, a lot of people don't understand that, but that's what it is, man. You got to put yourself first no matter what's going on. I don't give a fuck what's happening, man. You got to make sure you good. I'm saying ain't nobody going to love you or take care of you like you going to take care of yourself. So that's all that means. Now, <clears throat> the purpose of what we doing, or should I say, you know what I'm doing, but it's, it's a we thing because it's a team thing. So the purpose is, man, um... It's more like a sacrifice for self. It's like, I heard it's called, they call it a film house. You know what I'm saying? It's a film house. Or it's like a multimedia type of thing. And um, my thing is, I'm just focused on film, man. It don't matter what aspect of film it is. It can be documentary. It can be a full movie, a mini movie. All It don't matter. It just, I'm focused on film. So I'm not necessarily a promoter. I don't promote sacrifice for self. Like, hey man, if you want a video done, if you want this done, come, you know, we'll come shoot your shit and all that. It, nah, ain't nothing like this. Like, it's a talent thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause it took me a long time to get on this internet shit. I was against the internet shit, fuck that, that shit lame. I was like, fuck all that. But man, when I start seeing young niggas, like, young niggas really getting paid off the internet, man. All creativity, that's why I, I just want to go on with it. creativity versus Labor work, you know what I mean? Now, old school niggas, man, that's all they live off of. You don't work, you don't eat, which is true. But when they mean that shit, they mean literally, like <laughs> picking up shit on the shoulder, you know what I'm saying? Breaking your back, literally, man. It's a new time, it's a new day, man. That shit, that shit is dead, so, you know what I'm saying? Beside me being over, you know, being chubby overweight, I never like working hard, man. Everything, I ain't asked anybody I ever work with, I've always been cool, you know what I'm saying? I, <laughs> All that rent moving fast, sweating and shit, shit ain't never been my style, ever, you did. You know what I mean? So going back to, you know, what the purpose of Sacrifice for Self, man, I mean, we just showing you, man, that you don't have to catch no flight to Cali or New York and go to auditions and hope somebody, you know, pick you so you can be, nah, man. Down South, we already got the independent spirit anyway, you know what I mean? Like, we support raw talent, man. I don't discriminate against nothing, race, Sexuality, nothing. 
if you fit the role or if you want to present something, we gonna we gonna be behind you, man, because it's too much talent out here to go to waste, man. Like I was one of them, man. I just <laughs> believe it or not, man. I didn't wanna I didn't wanna pursue my film shit because I was scared to act that one time. I thought in order to be a writer or a director, you gotta act, and I was shy growing up, so I didn't wanna do it no more because I got discouraged off that little shit. I ain't want it bad enough, you know what I mean? I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want it, so I stopped doing it, man. And I remember Kato, man. You know what I'm saying? I know people don't like Kevo, but I know he was talking about some movies one time. He was like, that's cool, that's cool, but you know, when you drop your movie, you know the movie I really want to see? Yours. You know what I'm saying? He said that shit a lot, like after, probably a little bit after school, like, you know, 19, 20 or some shit. He said some shit like, and he already knew I was like, looking at the nigga like, nigga, stop, like, you know what I mean? But. You know what I mean? I just I want to I want to supply that man for the people that that that, that sit against themselves like I did. You know what I mean? It's a platform, man. It don't matter, man. It ain't just all one dimensional. We do anything. I'm just focused on film. You know what I mean? I don't really do you know like rap shit. Like you know you know what I mean? Like it's based on film. Now I ain't I will shoot the video. You know what I'm saying? Just to get some experience. But all we really do is we do the we do the film thing. You know what I mean? actors anything and basically we on the underground level man we we support all the underdogs underworld underground shit you know what i'm saying so but we just like to put it in the form of a film telling a story through a film through a movie that's what i do that's what i love and that's what i'm here for conflict <laughs> that's that's the shit that started off man shout out to my nigga k dope i know him as kevo that nigga know what's up you know what that means that nigga really broke the ice with me. Like he, he and a few other people know this film shit been with me forever. So uh, he was um, I think he was doing a school project. And he was telling me like, man, I want you to you know do this little role for me. You know what I'm saying I had it in my mind like I think this nigga talking about a movie, but you know I, I lowballed it like yeah whatever. You know what I'm saying that's cool, got it so. We did it, man. It, it was it was all in one day. You know what I'm saying? My nigga Blue. We uh we shot that shit in one day in front of it was raining too. It had just got done raining. Nigga had dropped it because he had to do it for a school project. So he dropped this shit and I seen it. And I lost my mind, man. That sparked it. That, so shout out to Kelvo Square Business, you know what I'm saying? All that shit. And I wanna put this on the record, no matter what's going on, man. You know, at last productions, man. They 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 started, they they they, they took the shit off because my first skit I ever did on the camera was under, you know, at last, you know what I'm saying? So I wanna you know, the organization, they started off some shit, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, you know what I'm saying, shout out to Kato, Squad Business Media, you know what I'm saying? Everybody everybody connected with them, you know what I'm saying? They they doing their thing. Love y'all niggas, it's all good. But um that's how I started, man. So when I seen myself on the screen and it was like on some acting shit for the first time, like I was like, oh yeah. It was so it was it, it was so intriguing, man, because it's like, damn, my nigga like, I like how this feels. So I wrote part two. You know what I'm saying? Y'all do y'all research conflict part two. I wrote this shit. You know what I'm saying? So I was I was hitting up K. I was like, man, yeah, man, like, I'm ready. This 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 idea for part two is shoot it. You know what I'm saying? But he was busy with his school shit on top of doing some other shit she was shooting, like, you know. We gonna have to wait, man. We are gonna get it when we get it. But I was impatient. I was, nah, man. We gotta do this. Like it's like hitting that that high, like hitting the needle, or the dope, whatever, whatever, man. It's like hitting that shit for the first time. I'm like, yeah, I gotta do this. But you know, he, he was saying some real shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it's real black and white with K though. It's like, you know what I'm saying? If you gonna talk that good shit, okay, that sounds good. But when you gonna do it? Okay, what's next move? Or, or you gonna keep waiting on? You know, he, he sort of cast, he got his way of doing shit, so he kind of came at me like that, like shit, okay? You know what I'm saying? You waiting on me, but, you know, you gonna get you a camera? You know what I mean? Like, I took it as nigga was, he was dissing. I thought he was throwing slugs. I'm like, well, nigga, fuck you. Like, I was on some shit, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, ah, nigga, trying to, you know, stuff, but he was saying some real shit, man. He was like, yeah, man, like, to make it easier, get you on camera. I'm like, I didn't want to do it like that. I wanted to just, him, I'm paying you out my pocket, shoot this shit for me because I love this work. But that's, the shit start making sense like, bro, you really gonna have somebody else controlling your time or how, how can you start something 
and depend on this person to do this, that, like, you know, man, it's like, all right, you need to get that camera. Yeah, that's what I did, you know what I mean? But for the most part, the conflict, man, that, that, that shit sparked it off, man. And um, we never finished conflict. That's crazy. That's crazy, because that shit started all this shit. We never finished that shit. We did two parts. We agreed to do five parts. Boom, short film. It never fucking happened. I don't know what happened. I guess uh, niggas got busy. Um, I don't know what happened, man. I actually, I, um, I talked about it. I think everybody kind of was doing their own thing. You know what I mean? On top of Kato say it was hype. Then B, you know, he was kind of, you know, they start branching off doing shit because they, you know, he was starting to, slowly for sure, he was starting to square business media shit and they was doing their thing. And, you know, I said, fuck it, man. I just got to the point, man. I, I'm not selling. I'm not waiting. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because... I can die any day, man. I'm not coming and going. Y'all ain't gonna put that in my book. Oh, that was a cool ass nigga. But he died, yo, it's gone. But nah, nigga, I'm leaving something behind. So I said, fuck it, I don't look at the camera, you know what I'm saying? I got it in. But uh, conflict started this whole shit, man. I, I actually enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? It, it really put a nigga, it, it put a nigga in that, in that category like, okay, he doing some serious shit, you know what I mean? So, I, I, I didn't fuck with it. That's a bit, you know what I'm saying? But, um, the, the, the another the, the another thing that's interesting about conflict that it, it broke the ice because before conflict I started social media in 2017 and it was all phone skits all that shit was phone skits and it was funny you know what I'm saying I didn't know how to, I, it's like I couldn't come into on no drama hood shit because you know what I'm saying you need other people I, I don't know I just didn't come I came in I came in this shit in comedy like kind of like funny type shit. But that was never my forte. Being funny was never my my mission. You know, I'm I'm, I'm backyard funny. You know what I'm saying? I'm more like you know, nigga get fired. Like, well, damn, uh, you lost that female you was fucking with. So what else you gonna do? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm backyard funny. I'm like more like real life funny. I'm not comedian stand up funny. You know what I'm saying? So all my phone skits I did, that was that was just shit to do. It was just it was building up my courage. That's all that shit was. So anybody that ever watched my phone skits, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate you, but that wasn't what I was going for. That was just shit I was doing to build my 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 my, my courage up, man. Because to get in front of this camera and talk and put it out to the public, everybody can't do that shit, man. For some for some reason, people are terrified. For example, when you look at somebody's like Instagram page, not talking about Tim, what you see. You see. <laughs> Them niggas don't never talk. There's so many people that we follow, they never talk on Instagram. They never like, they, they don't do no talking. All they do is post pictures. Man. Everybody got their own purpose, but man, if somebody following you, they wanna know who you are. They, they, they intrigued about something about you to follow you. Give them what they want, you know what I'm saying? But you know, everybody different. We can't, you know what I'm saying, fuck it. But conflict definitely kicked this shit off this year, 2019, January. I think we started January, you know what I'm saying? That's before, I even did sacrifice for self. Sacrifice, like I say, beginning of this year, 2019, sacrifice for self wasn't even here, man. You know what I'm saying? So, conflict started it, man. That was that spark that I needed, you know what I'm saying? And, hey, man, I ain't never looked back. So, shout out to Kato, man, you know what I'm saying? That nigga, he put me in that shit. I loved what I seen, and it was a feeling that it was like nothing other, man. Like I told you, like that first hit of dope. That's what that was, and I ain't turned back since, you. S for S podcast. Now, <clears throat> let me explain that too. Um, like I said, after Kato broke me in with this with the conflict shit, actually did the short film. I loved it. So he came back at me again on some shit like, "Yo, man, I got to do this shit for school, you know, podcast." You know what I'm saying, dude? I'm like, "Cool, I'm, I'm game for whatever." Like at this point, 2019, I'm all in with film. I said, "Look, what they want me to do?" So we went to the uh, studio. Or whatever, and uh, we got on the mic. They had the mic set up live. You know what I'm saying? So we did the podcast, and it was funny because it it, it, it wasn't even no serious shit. It was like some 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 bullshit. We started talking about I think do your girl should you bring your girl in the grocery store? It was some funny shit, man. It was some you know some some everyday shit. And man, I kind of took over. It was me, Kato, and B. I mean, uh, Blue. We did our shit, and um. I kind of like took over flooring so much, like it kind of shocked me. I just, I just flew with it. You know what I'm saying? So, and then K was like, man, that nigga, you kind of was going, dog. Like, yeah, 
kind of think about it, I'm like, man, I can do this shit. But I didn't want to do it audio, you know what I'm saying? Audio is for more, you know, like truck drivers and shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, nah, I want niggas to see me. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing visual, so <laughs> I had just started working for the concrete company, man. I was working in March or some shit like that. I was I was uh, working for them and um telling them, okay, I'm like, yeah man, um I'm down. So I told that nigga, I said, man, I wanna do my own podcast, like, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I grew up shy, dog. And everybody that I kinda looked up to, everybody was raw. Like, I should, should I say the people I wanted to look up to, like you Robin Harris. You know what I'm saying? Robin Harris, rest in peace. Richie Pryor, you know, I, I, I like that raw talk. I like niggas that just talk that, that raw shit on some old school shit. None of that sensitive ass shit, you know what I'm saying? Niggas say something to you, you thinking about it all day, you all, nah, I like, I like raw, nigga. I've always been a raw nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, in the sense of just, you know what I'm saying? And the, I don't know, I just love, like, bluntness. Like, yo, like, yeah, nigga, you know what I'm saying? We gonna tell you how you feel, you got a problem, dude, you know what I'm saying? I just always admired this shit, so. I was like, yeah, man, I can do this shit. So <clears throat> we did the first two podcasts in my mama garage. Uh, fucking the the garage was closed down. We was echoing and everything, and it was like I wasn't comfortable doing it because I'm like, this ain't how I want my shit done. It's my shit. I don't want it done like this. But I had to take advantage of the the, the time for my material. I say, fuck it, man. I'm talking about I got to, you know anybody that drive that know anything about concrete drivers. Them niggas ain't got no time, man. Them motherfuckers say, hey, man, go to work at 1 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock, every day something different. So, you know what I'm saying? I was, like, getting up at <laughs> 3 in the morning. No, I had to get up for, like, 2 something to be there for 3 and all kind of shit. So, I was doing this shit on some tired shit, but I had to do it because I wanted to build that. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to build my shit. So, the first two we did with uh, Blue and, and Kato, shit was cool, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't my, it wasn't the right setup. I'm like, I don't like this shit. So what ended up happening is I had to kind of kind of break them off a little bit on some shit, you know what I'm saying? I had to kind of like, man, that's cool, but I kind of got my own way I want to do this shit because Kato, he was getting so tied in everything he was doing. He really didn't have time to shoot my shit how I wanted to. Like weekends, I was a rap nigga. Like he wasn't doing shit on the weekends. He was always busy and shit. Like, fuck it. Holla at my little cousin, you know what I'm saying? Tyler, you know what I'm saying? My nigga T, little young cousin, you know what I'm saying? He was, he really a photographer and shit, so I asked him, like, man, you know, I ain't have a camera at the time. I say, man, you know, you think you come over to shoot, you know, shoot thing? And I did my introduction, I did my s boys introduction in my mama garage. I'm gonna do something called my mama garage, and I start a lot of shit, man, my mama garage. So, so you know what I'm saying? I seen this camera, I'm like, yeah, man, we need to do that. So we set up a date, and the first one we did, it was me, my nigga Neezy, also known by Alone the Third, and my nigga Zeke, man. You know what I'm saying? Free my nigga Zeke, you know what I'm saying? So, he had, he had just came home too. So, nigga come through, man. He came through and did that shit, you know what I'm saying? It was classic. Let me get this clear. Me and Den, that was our shit originally. Me and Den had been talking about that shit. That was our podcast. You know, it was like open therapy or street therapy, you know what I'm saying? It's like you're talking about real life shit. Speak it, you know what I mean, and, and go from there. Um, we really wasn't talking about what was hot at the time, and uh, we weren't worried about that, man. We was really talking about what's, what was in our hearts and how we felt about certain things and all that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? So, now my S for it shirts, man, that <laughs> that was um that wasn't even the lane I was even trying to go down, but. I'm going to give a personal shout out to my nigga Tommy, man, in Atlanta. I salute this nigga, man, because this nigga, this nigga really smart, but he really on some street shit, you know what I'm saying? But the nigga smart than a motherfucker, so the nigga hit me up on some site, nigga, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, I'm, you know, I'm doing my little thing, I think I'm trying some shit, man. I'm going to send you some merch. At the top, man, I'm talking about <laughs> 29 years of age, I'm, I kind of still didn't understand what merch meant. I'm like, all right, what up? I'm saying, see the shit, man. Nigga sent the shit through the mail, no charge, nothing. Had a black and white sacrifice himself shirt. Another thing that took me took me over the like it, 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 it took me to that level. Like, damn, this nigga got my shit on the shirt. So I seen the shit on the shirt. I say it's over, nigga. Like, yeah, like, oh fuck, 
that. Like, cause, cause the more you rock your shit, the more it's more uh, it's appealing. You send me that shit, I'm like, that yeah, nigga, like, yeah, that's 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 square business, like, yeah, like that that's that's bet. So I start doing sacrifice for self, man, shirts, and bro, it. <laughs> I remember getting all work, man, waiting for that pack to touch down. I was posting that shit like that shit meant something to me. So every week, I think I was ordering something every week at one time. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about selling shit or not. It didn't matter. You know what I'm saying? I want them shirts, nigga. I want like, this shit appealing to me. And he kept sending them, sending them. You know, different colors, sizes. I'm like, hold up, nigga. Like, let, 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 let's talk about this real quick. Talk about it, man. This, Let's get these numbers right. Now now I need a I need a large amount. You know what I'm saying? Nigga doing hoodies and everything. So the S4S shirts that wasn't playing like I told y'all, I'd be just trying to do <clears throat> my film shit. And then this nigga come up the shirts and then he that shit took it into another level. I'm like, alright, you got bandanas, nigga? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I want boxes. <laughs> college shirts, and my nigga sent me a college, he sent me a burgundy one too, you know what I'm saying? So you know, it's a lot more business to do, man. You know what I'm saying? Time me, man. Get with me, nigga. You know what it is. You got a lot of money to make in the future, man. We definitely gonna get it in, man. Give my nigga Tommy for merch. You know what I'm saying? He, he located in Atlanta right now. And um, everybody in Houston, Texas, do merch too. We shout out to, you know, shout out to y'all. Y'all let me know something. We gonna promote it. We gonna get it in. That's a fact. <laughs> a big fact at that. Mean City. This is the latest project under SOS as of the date. The symbol of what? We in December, I think, the 17th, uh, December 17th, 2019, right now. That's the last thing I did. I just dropped part five. If y'all never seen it, go to YouTube, subscribe on the Sacrifice for Self, and with the number four. Man, subscribe and go watch it. It's under the hashtag, Mean City. <clears throat> Let me tell you, man. I feel like I gotta make this clear. Mean City is doing exactly what it's supposed to do and serving its purpose, which is practice. I've been getting a lot of feedback. People fuck with it, but you know, people give me insight on what you need to do is what I expect. But Mean City was very spontaneous. It was um, uh, I was doing my little uh, comedian shit, not comedian shit, my little funny shit, man, uh, the Nick and DJ. I got part two coming out before this year end, 2019. I'm going to drop that. And um, it was more of, you know, I got tired of being on some funny shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm like on some hood shit, some drama. You know what I mean? That's my number one topic. That's my forte. You know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with serial killers and, you know, that's my, that's my area. So I'm like, man, that's, that funny shit cool, but it's time to do some shit I want to do. I'm proud of us. So I said, man, who can I do some shit with that I know it's going to do it? It was my nigga Neezy. You know what I'm saying? All along the third, you know what I'm saying? I got with that nigga, man. He came over. We chopped it up. And we like, man, that's what we going to do, man. I'm like, man, I ain't really trying to make this no series, no movie. I just feel like, you know, probably make 10 minutes worth of material. Call it a day. <laughs> we shot the first, the first day we shot, nothing went plan that the shit you see in part one of mean city that was not supposed to have that was that was made up on the spot man that was not what it was supposed to be that was some made up shit on the spot because we couldn't waste the day i think at that time we was both well i wasn't working that's another thing i want to put i was not working from part one to part five i was not working when i shot mean city i didn't have no car None of this shit, and I still made it happen, so that just showed you the Terminator shot at everybody that gave me a ride, and look, man, that shit wasn't, <laughs> that was some backyard shit, that was like some real hood shit, like, man, I ain't, I ain't have nothing, I ain't no money, nothing. It was just some shit I was doing because I had a vision for it. So, you know what I'm saying, I came in easy with it, you know what I'm saying? Of course, he was down, cause he rapped, so he was doing entertainment way before me. He, 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 he been performing in front of people and shit. I know he ain't gonna have a problem with it. Then it was on some hood shit, so I'm like, yeah, this nigga gonna do it. So we did our part one, it was cool. You know what I'm saying? Then my nigga Kato, hey man, I need somebody, man. Let me know, nigga. I don't give a fuck about dying, not put me in there. I'm like, you got it, nigga. You the, nigga, you the one that, that sparked the shit for me, nigga. I'm like, you got it. And then nigga PA hit me, like, yeah, man, I need to get that nigga, hit me up. And it took forever to get PA, man. It, man, we had like three appointments for that nigga, man. 
And then part three, part three was spontaneous, man. We posted at the hotel room. We got kicked out the hotel room. You know what I'm saying? Shit was crazy, man. Part three wasn't nothing I supposed to win. And shot out to my motherfucking nigga champ. Love her to death, nigga. Lisa, you know what I'm saying? She wasn't even supposed We had another female, everything, female flakes, or she didn't take it seriously, whatever you want to call it. Called up last minute, you know what I'm saying? She laughed like, yo, nigga, uh, that's my shit. Like, you know, I'm down for that shit. She did it, and it was history. I think Mean City gave me that thing where this is this is what I'm meant to do. You know what I'm saying? While the whole time I wasn't working, I think it took us two months to shoot part one through five, and I got nothing but love, you know what I'm saying? I didn't really get too much bad feedback. Even though it was, um, it's some average shit, it's some average hood shit, but my next project I am dropping in uh, 2020, I'm going to get a name, one move at a time. That's not a movie, that's gonna be more of a series, a, a drama YouTube series. Mean City, we wrapped it up as one movie, we put that under the, cause really conflict was supposed to be the first thing that was under my belt so far as movies. It never happened, whatever, you know, niggas got busy, whatever. But Mean City, you know what I'm saying, we gonna, we, we, we gonna do another poster, wrap it up, in the books, it ain't gonna be no Mean City Part Two, none of that shit. Just Mean City, two hours worth of material, you know, enjoy type shit. But um, 2020, man, uh, one move at a time is coming real soon, y'all. Y'all stay tuned, you know what I'm saying? And I just wanted that to be known, like I said, Mean City is my first project, but it came successful. Now we only on Part Five, you know what I'm saying? It came successful at this point, and I love it. So that's me and City. If you stay tuned, it's gonna be a crazy ending, and that's how we're gonna do that. So peep that shit. My advice to anybody that's jumping into a film that's never done it, don't know nothing. First thing is first. You're never gonna feel like you're ready. Please get that shit out your mind. Please do not get. <laughs> Please do not. Start this film, even with entrepreneurship, ain't gotta be filmed. Do not come in this shit thinking, oh, I gotta be, dog, no, you're, you're never gonna feel like you're ready. You gotta just do it. That's, that's the only way you're gonna learn. Like, yeah, have some knowledge about what you're doing, but all that flawless, no mistakes, stop, stop, nigga, you know. Shoot, and get people that's willing to shoot, man. Straight up, if they ain't willing to shoot, they don't wanna be themselves, get the fuck off the camera. If he is, do it. Another thing, you really have to believe this is what you're going to do. Please don't try to act like this is a, just a bullshit hobby. It's just some shit you're just doing for the moment. It's not gonna work, bro. You gotta feel like you're gonna really do this shit. Like, day in, day out. Go to sleep, dream about to wake up, get it done. If you don't have that passion, don't do it, man. You know what I'm saying? It, that, that's the best advice. That's one of the best advice I give you about this film shit. You gotta really wanna do this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And another one, you gotta be your own chi leader, man. Please. This is another big one. Do not come in this shit wanting support. All them niggas you was drinking with, fucking hoes with, and doing all that crazy shit, that's cool, man. You got your homies, your friends. Don't expect them niggas to support you to the T. Cause when they don't, it's gonna break your encouragement. It's gonna break your spirit. You're gonna get discouraged. No, nigga. Do not expect support off the rip. Now, when you start doing your thing, of course niggas gonna ride the wagon, but bro, stop. The niggas that you kicking them with, stop. Don't don't look for them to support your shit like you don't support it. That's why it goes back to what I was saying. You have to believe in this shit, man. You are your biggest cheerleader, nigga. If you don't understand that, get the fuck out the game, you know what I'm saying? Go do something else, go work at 9 to 5, man. You your biggest cheerleader, dog. You have to understand that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know, like, yeah, people gonna think you crazy. You won't even question your own sanity. But you have to be your biggest cheerleader, my nigga. There's no other way around it. You have to do that, though. And last but not least, master your craft, man. Master that shit. Learn, good man, look, it ain't nothing in this world you can't learn through the internet. And YouTube is really hint. YouTube, you have to see it, man. Go on YouTube, go on the internet. Master your craft. Learn everything, even the history behind it. And this ain't even filming, this is entrepreneurship, man. Learn your fucking craft, dog. Master the shit. Once you master it, it's not gonna be hard to do. You ain't gonna be second guessing it. 
man, I always ain't no real, nah, man, no matter what come in front of you, once you master that shit, nigga, it's gonna be like butter, you know what I'm saying, cutting. And one of my favorite slogans, or my quotes, whatever you wanna call it, the main one I always say, that everybody understand, there is no elevators to success. You have to take the motherfucking steps. It's for win, sacrifice for sale, 2019, 2020 coming in, man. Stay tuned to Mean City, cause we going in, you dig what I'm talking about? Big.